Ovaj video je zasnovan na istinitim događajima, pričama i motivima ljudi koji tvrde da su prošli kroz ovo. Svrha videa nije širenje verske ili bilo kakve druge religijske mržnje. Ovo nije hejt video. Ovo je video koji se bavi motivima i činjenicama na osnovu iskaza drugih ljudi. Na vama je da odlučite u šta želite da verujete. Raj, pakao, bog, Isus ili Allah. Šta je od toga istina? 22. novembar 1998. Predstavljao je tipično veče za Bila i Anet Vist. Proveli su veče kod prijatelja, a nakon toga su se vratili kući i oko ponoći otišli u krevet. Oko tri sata kasnije Bil je osetio kako ga nešto podiže iz kreveta i baca kroz vazduh. Sleteo je na tvrd pod zatvorske ćelije. I got up at three o'clock in the morning to get a glass of water, mm -hmm. and suddenly I was pulled out of my body, like being sucked out of your body, and I found myself falling through the air, and I landed in this actual prison cell in hell. Rough-hewn stone walls, bars, a filthy, stinking, dirty prison, like a dungeon. Yeah. Now, this was an out-of-body experience. This was a, a vision, okay? Right. Uh, I've never had one like this before, but anyway, it was actually a prison cell. And uh, there were these demonic creatures in this cell. What were they like? Reptilish in appearance, bumps and scales all over their bodies. Yeah. Uh, these particular two were about 12 or 13 feet tall. There's even scripture for that, but... Um... Bill, who is a usual person, was told in one episode that he had a kind of visit to the house. At the night, he was asleep. Three hours later, he had this experience of this experience. Kako prema njegovim rečima, njegova duša je otišla u pakao i tamo provela 23 minuta. Kada je tamo otišao, objasnio je kakva je stvorenja tamo zatekao. Pogledajmo. What did they do to you? Or did they do that? They were, first of all, they were blaspheming and cursing God. They had an extreme hatred for God. They were deformed, twisted, grotesque creatures. And then they directed that hatred towards me. I wondered why, what have I done to them? But the one picked me up, threw me into the wall, tremendous strength. I collapsed on the floor. I felt bones broken. The other one dug his claws into my chest, tore the flesh open. You have a body in hell, but it can withstand this torment. And uh, they had absolutely no mercy, an extreme hatred for God. In Objasno je kako su biće izgledala. Rekao je da u paklu čovek ne može umreti, ali zato će biti mučen za uvek. Zamislite da decenijama budete mučeni i da tome nikada ne bude kraja. Rekao je da nije bilo mnogo vazduha. Vazduh je bio zamenjen sumporom koji je udisao. Iako znamo da je sumpor toksičan za čoveka, nije mu bilo jasno zašto je još uvek živ. Poslušajte kako je izašao. Kada sam vidio sve to tormenta i ljudi u vrlo, sam se učinio da sam učinio da sam učinio da sam učinio da sam učinio bright light appeared. Suddenly this bright light. I knew immediately who it was. I didn't see his face, but I saw the outline of a man standing in this bright, pure, holy light, like no light I've ever seen. And I immediately knew who it was, and I just cried out his name, Jesus. And he said, I had, uh, yeah, I, I thought, Lord, why did you send me to that horrible yeah. place? He said, because many people do not believe hell is real. He said, even some of my own people do not believe hell exists. Which that statement surprised me because I thought all Christians believe in hell, but many of them do not. Sure. They believe in annihilationism or universalism or soul sleep. None of that's true. Jesus said in Matthew 25, 46, that these shall go into everlasting life and these shall go into everlasting punishment. He used the same word everlasting, Ionios. So just as heaven is everlasting, so is hell. Da ne bi dužio sa videom. Svi dokazi, inserti i intervjui koji budete videli u ovom videu, cele verzije možete pogledati na našem web sajtu mmediamreza.com ili putem naše Android aplikacije pod nazivom mmediamreza.
Bilje je samo jedan od mnogih koji su svedočili ovakvim iskustvima. Da li mu verujete? Da li mislite da je ovo istina? Bilje je danas potpuno religijski predan. Održava svoje govore kako bi preneo svoje iskustvo i ukazao na to da nikada ne izgubimo veru. Jer ako je izgubimo, Božija presuda je konačna i nema milosti ako naše duše završe u paklu. Ovo su bilove reči, ali to nije sve. I was born in the southern part of Iran, a city called Abadan. Born in a Muslim family, shared Muslim family. My grandfather was a Muslim leader. I uh, joined uh, Hezbollah five times a day. Uh, Shiites do pray three times, and they include the 17th Rokat in, in the uh, three times. But uh, what I did, when it, because I wanted to spend more time with, with God, I did it at five separate times. And then in the end of the evening, I would uh, pray extra prayers. Sa druge strane, tu je svedočenje jednog drugog čoveka koji je celoga života bio prema njegovim rečima dobar musliman. Molio se redovno, širio svoju religiju. Jedne večeri, čitajući Kuran u uglu prostorije u kojoj je sedeo i razmišljao o značenju pojedinih reči i stihova iz Kurana, u tom trenutku dogodilo se nešto neverovatno. Poslušajte. A spirit entered the room, and uh, it was much more powerful than I could handle or I could, I could overcome. And so I was filled with fear, and so I tried uh, using all the tools Islam had given me. In the name of Allah, I command you to leave, you know. Uh, Satan, I rebuke you, kind of things. And I used all those, and nothing uh, was, was helping. At that moment, I, I was totally desperate, and I I felt like it is choking me, choking the life out of me and I felt like I'm dying in that cell. Dakle, dok je mislio na stihove iz Kurana i pokušao da shvati njihovo značenje, posjetila ga je neka zla sila koja je počela da ga guši, pokušao je i mislima, dozivao, ponavljao molitvu u sebi, služio se svim sredstvima koje ga je Islam naučio da otera tu zlu silu. Ali uzalud, u jednom trenutku javio mu se Isus Nije mu bilo jasno zašto Isus, a ne Allah. Poslušajte šta je dalje bilo. The very instant those words were spoken, I physically felt forgiven. In the presence of God, I just wept. I still can't think this. 18 years have gone by, but I still can't forget His love, His mercy. And Continue fi sabi la la, kill in the way of Allah. And then, it's God says love in the way of me, forgive in the way of me. And it was everything, my heart. I don't expect anybody to become a Christian because of my testimony. I da ne dužimo, cele izjave možete vidjeti na našem sajtu i aplikaciji, linkovi su u opisu. Ukratko, ovaj čovek je bio ljut jer su ga učili i on je učio druge da veruje pogrešno. Rekao je da su ga učili da treba da ubiju za Allaha, dok mu je Isus govorio da treba voleti sve ljude. Tada je shvatio da je pogrešio, Isus mu je oprostio, ali on nije shvatio zašto kada je bio toliko grešan. Kao odgovor na to dobio je da treba širiti ljubav među ljudima i da je ljudski praštati. Od tog trenutka ovaj čovek je zatražio Bibliju, promenio veru i nastavio svoj život kao hrišćanin. And I assure you, I can guarantee you that mighty God that came and touched and changed my life and Ovo nije kraj. Za kraj se vam ostavio još jedno svedočenje čoveka čije članke možete pronaći svuda po internetu. Ovaj čovek je bio jedan od najpoznatijih satanista. Međutim, kao i bili iz prve priče, i ovaj čovek je posjetio pakao. 
ali da ne bih dužio sa videom, ispričat ću vam skraćenu verziju. Za ovog čoveka su pisali svi svetski mediji. On i njegov otac su bili jedni od najvećih satanista koji su postojali. I kako oni kažu, imali su direktan kontakt sa Luciferom, demonima, ugovor sa samim džavolom. Demoni su ga redovno posjećivali na ritualima. On je jedan od svega nekoliko ljudi na svetu koji je znao najmračnije tajne satanizma i rituale vraćanja i sl. Ali jednog dana ga je nešto promenilo i odlučio da izda samo džavola. father well, I remember when I used to when I was when I was younger like eight nine years old I would see him going to the room to, to worship the devil and I could feel the presence of the devil come into that room and my father would worship and speak in tongues in demonic tongues and and worship and put flowers and put candles and put water I, at, at seven o'clock at night to five in the morning I was really going to demonic to demonic church I was going to witchcraft church I was it was I was being trained to be, I was being trained to be a, 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 a warlock. I was being trained with witches that were in the, in the religion for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. They were training, they were training me to learn how to speak to principality, spirits in the ground, the devil himself. You couldn't speak to the devil right away. You had to earn your right. I was home at night and the devil shows up and I feel the presence of the devil comes into my mouth. And then uh, the devil told me, we have to board the plan of the lady that you want to kill. And I said, why would we want to board the plan? My reputation line. I'm a witch, I'm a, I'm a warlock. If I don't kill the lady, they're going to think that I don't have any powers. The devil said, you don't, you don't understand. The God that she served said, don't leave her, leave her alone. Don't touch her. In, in America, I was the third person to get this book that has symbols of the book, of different demons, of different principality, a different way of killing people through witchcraft. And, and this book was so, no one had, had a copy of this book. You couldn't have a copy of this book unless the devil sign off on it. And I was the third person that received that book. And I would take symbols from that book and do witchcraft to people and put people in, in, in uh, make people lose their mind. I put witchcraft on people, make people get diseases out of nowhere. I put witchcraft on people, make people get leprosy. I put witchcraft on people, make people get cancer. I mean, I did witchcraft to people. I gave people miscarriages. I gave people abortions. I gave people, I put people in hospital for, for, not, for surgeries that didn't even have to go surgeries. I did witchcraft so people can lose their minds. I, I put spirits of, of, of bipolar, trichophrenia. I put spirits of, of, of of disease on people, I put suicide spirits on people. I'd be up all night long praying and talking to the devil. I knew I, I would I will go to Demon Church and every year we would have a meeting, a secret meeting. All the high witches and warlock would have this meeting to find out what usher, what principality we were gonna usher out and bring in to run the region. We were we were more organized than the church itself. The kingdom of darkness da opet ne bih dužio, izjave u full izdanju možete pogledati na našem sajtu ili preko naše Android aplikacije. Ovaj čovek je bio jedan od najmoćnijih satanista. Jedan noći prema njegovim rečima, Isus ga je pre neupakao. Nalazio se u tunelu u potpunom mraku. Kaže da ga je Sotona ucenjivala da ne sme da ga napusti. Da ne sme da ga izda jer mu je verovala, odala tajne, a onda pokušala da ga zgrabi. Ali onda se dogodilo sljedeće and come back to reality. But there was no gap. And I remember, I, as, I, as, as, the more I went to, into, into the tunnels, the more the fear gripped me, the more the more, the more the suffering, I heard suffering, darkness drapes over you, this fear drapes over you, like, like you're wearing a garment. This fear drapes over you, it's something you can't even control, you have no control over. Something like, it, it, it grabs you, that it don't, it don't even let you go. I couldn't see the hand in front of my face. But I hear the wailing, I hear wailing, like, but, I mean, but, but, but crazy in that. And, and, and then, and then I, 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 as I came to a part of, of, of the tunnel, the devil showed up. He said, I, I, I was your daddy. He spoke to me in the amount of time. I was your daddy. I gave you everything you needed. I took care of you. I blessed you. I protected you. I, did, I killed people for you. I did everything. I gave you powers. I gave you a name. And now you want to leave me? Now you want to betray me? In demonic tongues. And I'm talking to him back in demonic tongues and telling him, no, I'm not leaving. I'm just confused. I don't know what's going on. And he said, no, I know what you're going to do. You're going to leave me and you're going to expose my religion. You're going to expose who I am and how I operate in the rip in the spirit realm. You, because I taught you things that I never taught no one else. As he went to grab me to destroy me, the cross of Jesus Christ, P in hell. I didn't understand how a two or three foot cross of P in hell when I was wearing the blue shorts and a t-shirt. Self-centered ways in hell. When I was done for the count, Jesus Christ loved the misfit. And he said, I have a plan for you. I love you. 
Kada je predao život Isusu, ovaj čovek, John se pridružio Times Square crkvi u New Yorku i nastavio svoj život kao hrišćanin. John je također spomenuo u jednom svom intervju da kada bi svi ljudi na svetu imali ovako iskustvo da provedu bar dva minuta u paklu, svet bi bio potpuno drugačiji. Ovakvih svedočenja ima puno, ja sam pronašao samo neke od najintrigantnijih. Da li su ovo dokazi da raj i pako zaista postoje? Pišite mi vaše mišljenje u komentarima. U izradi ovog videa su pomogli escapefromhell.ca, 23 minutes in hell i posebno hvala na ustupljenim snimcima stranici The End of Churchianity. Ja sam Nenad i do sljedećeg videa. Srdačno pozdrav!